Hi guys, welcome to my unboxing of the HP Mechanical Keyboard GK100. It's a budget mechanical keyboard by HP. It's a fully mechanical keyboard, unlike uh, those mecha mechanical keyboards by other companies. But I have no idea what switches they are using. It just says on their website it's a red switch. It doesn't state that it's for either from Cherry or Kale or. I have no idea, yeah. So let's find out what it is. What I have here is the uh, it's the white backlight variant, not the RGB one. Uh, there is an RGB version of this as well, so you can choose what kind of backlight you want from HP uh, and what kind of switches you want. But it just doesn't say um, it doesn't say the OEM of the switches. So, at the back of the box, it says uh, some specs. Uh, yeah, it's an aluminium board. Right? And, yeah, you can read this by yourself. What I find interesting is this thing over here. It says the keyboard goes into sleep mode after 10 minutes, which is uh, not very common in keyboards in general. So I want to see what that's about. Uh, yeah, it's, it's also lasted... Uh, it's also rated for f up to 50 million clicks or key press. Yeah, and it has a button press force of 60 grams plus, ten plus minus 10 grams. So it's probably not cherries. Not, not cherry reds or even kale reds for that matter. So quite interesting to see what they have under the hood. Alright. So, uh... Here it is. Alright, uh, just a keyboard. Oh, they include a very basic uh, keycap puller, which is nice. It's a budget keyboard after all, so uh, yeah, warranty information. Alright, so we can just put it aside. So here's the keyboard. It feels very light. Yeah, the first thing I want to say is it feels very light. Uh, it's a plastic bag. The legends here are quite gamery. So, uh, Alright, so let's find out what switches they have. Okay guys, I'm back, sorry for that. It appears I have mistaken the color of the key switches. Uh, what I have here is the black key variant. Uh, there's blue, black, and browns. Uh, so please disregard what I said earlier. And um, these switches, they are rebranded Otemus. It says KRGD on them. But I did a quick Google search, and they are, it turns out they are rebranded Otemu switches. So yeah, uh, it's not it's not cherries or kales, but you know Otemu is still quite a good brand, and it's pretty popular among uh, these budget boards. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is that the keycaps, right. This keycap, in fact, all the keycaps. Uh, one thing I really don't like is that the sides are glossy. Uh, yeah, so uh, they were as soon as I took the key switch puller and used it on one of these, it scratched up the sides. But at least the tops are not glossy. And if you don't like the look and feel of these, keycaps from HP, you cannot actually change them for the keycaps you might find online. That's because HP has decided to extend the keycap stem past the keycap to make way for the aluminium plate that's on the keyboard. So as you can see, uh, this is a traditional MX stem, uh, MX keycap sorry, and the stem is recessed into the keycap compared to the HP one. So, if you put 
a traditional MX keycap onto the HP keyboard, you would have the keycaps sitting really low compared to the HP keyboard. And if you try to type on it, it will hit the, the aluminium plate. So that's one thing to take into consideration before buying this keyboard. Even though it has MX stems, there are no keycap sets for this keyboard because HP has their own proprietary keycap that's custom tailored to this keyboard. And uh, if you decide to replace the keycaps, if you really want to, you'll have to deal with the noise of your keycaps hitting the aluminium plate. So I just took off the shift key and this is one stabilizer that I have not seen before. It doesn't appear to be Costa or Cherry. And this is what the bottom of the shift key looks like. On the bright side, these stabilizers are not that bad. They do rattle a bit, but are actually quite smooth. I would compare them to something like a Costa instead of a Cherry stabilizer. It does not have that mushy feel that Cherry stabilizers are known for. Uh, but it does, it does have a little bit of the rattle, as you can hear. Uh, so now I have to put back this keycap, I have no idea how to put this back. So, yeah. Now let's move on to the things that I like. The first thing that I like about this keyboard are the switches. They are Utemu Blacks, and they are a clone of Cherry MX Blacks. Some people say that they are scratchier compared to MX Blacks. Um, if you compare them side by side, they do indeed feel slightly scratchier, but that's not something you would notice immediately. If you had no idea these were Utemu switches, you'd probably think that they are just regular MX Blacks. Uh, they do wobble a bit more than usual, but that can be attributed to the weird keycaps that uh, HP is using because they are a little taller, but you really would not feel the difference um, if you had no idea. The feeling of the stabilized keys are very consistent with the feelings of the non-stabilized keys. And it is one of the least mushy feeling stabilizers I have tried on a retail board. It is not mushy at all. This keyboard also features N key rollover, which means that you can press all the keys at once and they will all register. A standard non-gaming keyboard is typically 6 key rollover. This keyboard comes out of the box set to 6 key rollover mode. And if you want to turn on N key rollover, you can just hit function and scroll lock. You have to do this every time you turn on your computer or plug out the keyboard from your computer because this keyboard does not save its settings. HP has also baked in a lot of lighting effects into this keyboard and you can control them using the function key and this cluster right here. So let's go through all of them. So the first one is the standard static uh, lighting effect. Then you hit the function insert, you have WASD lit up and the arrow keys and function insert again will give you the breathing mode and again you would have reactive typing as you can see the keys turn off and slowly fade back into it. That's all for function and insert. If you press it again, it will just go back to the static one. Now for function home, you have reactive typing.
and function home again. Now this one is uh, horizontal. This one is, um, it will turn on and slowly fade back to black. Now this one is the opposite of the first one. It's quite nice, I like this one. Okay, this is function page up. It's not reactive, it's just a pattern. Yeah, it'll keep repeating itself. This is another pattern that HP has come up with. Okay, so for each and every key, you will have four patterns and you can cycle between them. This one's not bad. Actually, this one's pretty nice too. Okay, so how you adjust the brightness of the keyboard is function up and down. All right, so when you reach the end, these keys will light up to let you know. So off, one, two, three, four, five. You have five brightness levels. The lighting setting, unlike the end key rollover setting, does not reset every time you plug out or restart your computer. Let me show you. So one last thing is function windows. You have your windows key lock. Pretty useful, pretty standard for gaming keyboards. In conclusion, I think this keyboard is a decent deal, especially if you live somewhere outside the US where shipping costs would make budget mechanical keyboards on Amazon feel too expensive. I picked this keyboard up for around 27 USD and that makes it a lot cheaper than other budget mechanical keyboards with backlighting. In fact, this is the only keyboard I can find in this price range that has white backlighting and a selection of switch types for you to choose from. Thank you for watching my unboxing and quick review of the HP GK100 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard.